Hey guys, welcome to Practical Home Projects. So it's possible that you've noticed around your house that the outlet might be like a little bit recessed behind that outlet cover, or possibly you removed an outlet cover and you've seen that the outlet's not really stable. That is not only sort of an aesthetic thing, but that's also a safety issue. And today I want to show you why that's important to fix and a simple solution for it. So right here we're looking at what is probably the most common National Electrical Code violation. NEC code 314.20 says that you can have no more than one quarter of an inch between this box and this outer surface. This, which in this case would be the outlet box cover. So even if that box was perfectly flush with the drywall, these tiles are about a quarter inch thick. So we're already, you know, exceeding that goal. And pretty much most tile installers will just cut out the tile right around the box and then they'll just put the outlet right on top of the edge of the tiles or maybe they'll even use those spacers but there's still a gap there and that gap is you know considered a violation because it's a potential safety hazard. So ideally what we would have been able to do is get an adjustable box that we could just adjust up and back uh, depending on the depth that we needed and then you know that would pretty much resolve all of our problems. Unfortunately this particular box is nailed into the stud. There's not really any way to adjust it shy of just cutting it out and trying to reinstall it. So fortunately there's this solution. These are essentially electrical, bo electrical box extenders. They're about an inch deep and they sort of nest into the box. So this design you can actually have a double or a single. So if you have a double you click them together and they essentially support on the outer surface but then this inside protection helps you to address that uh, code violations. So this is a fix for that. The most important thing is to make sure that you have um, enough surface that they can mount on and these themselves don't slide back. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pop one on there. So it's a little close, but we do have enough tile here to, for this to rest on. And this is pretty much just gonna rest on that surface. And then you'll see this is a smaller opening than the box itself, so it's a little bit tight to get the wires in. Um, but once you get the wires past that, then you'll go ahead and screw it in. So this is the original screw that came with the outlet, and you'll see these extender kits come with a longer screw, and that helps you to cover the longer gap. And it screws into the original box. So I've already turned off this outlet, so let's go ahead and install it. So we'll just kind of fold the wires like we normally do. I like to use a screwdriver usually for this because these are really easy to strip out if you use a drill. And also for one of the other ones, I actually didn't have one of the corners supported with a tile. So I just cut out a thin strip of tile to rest on the drywall so that the corner of the extender would have something to rest on. And that's it. So I hope this worked out for you guys. If you have a different way of solving this problem, I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section below. Obviously there's a couple different ways that your electrical system could be played out. So maybe there's different solutions that work for different people. Um, let me know what you think. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks guys.